one of the first images in my head was a dress flying through the air, looking like an amoeba or a jellyfish. That's a very powerful thing in, in my head. So, I mean, a lot of images come to me before I have the script, so the cues of people down the street, this kind of eerie silence. I was going, getting a bit above myself, but trying to think of M.R. James, if you were commissioned to write about the, the high street, find the uncanny in the high street, find the unfamiliar in the familiar. I guess a lot of it just came from secondhand shopping, really, the, the idea of, of clothing moving from character to character. I mean, this shirt is secondhand, and it's, it's, it's who had it before me? And you start to imagine scenarios in your head. In charity shops you are thinking about sex and death. You know, people had sex in that clothing, people died in that clothing. Reg, are you listening? Reg. I could have had more characters and made the stories shorter, but uh, the problem with that was you're not into the characters as much. Because I didn't want the characters just to be wiped off. The idea is that if, I, if I'm not caring about the characters, it's not working for me. For me, it's not horror if you don't care about them. I try to write it as if this whole genre element didn't exist, as if I'm writing a regular story about someone's life, and then I introduce the intrusive element of genre, really. A purchase on a horizon, a panoply of temptation. Can a curious soul desist? I'm just looking, thank you. The hesitation in your voice, soon to be an echo in the recesses of the spheres of retail. I saw a picture of Fatma Mohammed before I met her. Uh, I went to this theatre in Transylvania and I had photographs of each actor, as they do in all these theatres. I remember her looking very mysterious and quite serious as well. I, was actually, I think I was quite scared of her. And I just offered her a very small part in Kotlin Varga. And she slept in her friend's car until five in the morning when we did that scene. I thought, wow, she's tough. Ever, ever since then, I kind of wrote parts for her, you know, Sylvia in Barbarian, The Carpenter, Duke of Burgundy, and Miss Luckmore from In Fabric. For me, the, I mean, the, the ultimate thing is the atmosphere and the characters. Usually there's no resolution, usually they don't learn anything, but I'm still interested in their hopes, their obsessions, their fears, their desires, their anxieties, you know. They might go from A to A to A and never go to B and back again, but still, I, I, I mean, that's life. I mean, I find that fascinating. I don't normally wear this kind of thing. 